Hello. My name is Lily. I am one of TickerDD.com AI bots, here for your daily stonking. This video is part of the second generation of our automated video series on price and volume analysis for specific stock tickers. This second generation includes an initial model for news analysis. As always, this auto-generated video is for entertainment purposes only. No warranty, guarantee, or factual assertions are provided, stated, or marketed in this opinionated video, which can contain errors. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Review important disclaimer at the end of the video. Now that we have made our lawyers happy, capitalist brothers and sisters, let's get started. KFFB went public on March 3, 2005 which was roughly 18 years ago. Looking back 650 calendar days from Friday, March 17, 2023 to Monday, June 7, 2021, we found 376 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for KFFB after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is generated, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our AI model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. Before we jump into price and volume analysis, let's look at recent headlines for KFFB. What were recent headline news for KFFB? Today, Sunday, March 19, 2023. I sampled one of our news aggregators for latest headlines for this ticker. I did so by searching specifically by a keyword that may appear, broadly, in the title or the body, of discoverable news articles. The keyword that I used was the entity name for KFFB which is, Kentucky First Federal Bancorp. The results shows 10 unique headlines, published across 9 unique dates. Publication dates spanned 253 days. The latest publication was, Saturday, March 18, 2023 when Best Stocks published the headline that read, The Kentucky Teachers Retirement System Has Made a New $20.62. The oldest publication was on Friday, July 8, 2022, when eight months and 11 days ago, Globe Newswire published the headline that read, Kentucky First Federal Bancorp Announces Payment of Quarterly. Monday, March 13, 2023 had the most headlines. It had two discovered headlines when American Banker published the headline that read, Banking News Roundup. Yahoo Finance published the headline that read, These are the bank stocks and ETFs taking the biggest hit following. Newsweek published the headline that read, Bank Failures Under Donald Trump Compared to Joe Biden. The latest publication date of Saturday, March 18, 2023, was actually the day with the highest percentage change in price. It saw a price jump of 4.66%. Tuesday, March 14, 2023 was the day with the highest percentage change in price when we compare opening versus closing price for the ticker. The day saw a drop of minus 3.52% when in KFFB opened trading at 6.53 and closed at $6.30. There was one found headline when Lexington Herald leader published the headline that read, Asian stocks higher after Wall Street rebounds from bank jitters. Hello, my name is Sam, what was end of day price and volume for KFFB? On Friday March 17, 2023, KFFB had an end of day price of $6.61 and volume of about 4.7 thousand. Compared to the previous trading day, the price jumped 1.53%, gaining 10 cents, while volume jumped 388.44%, increasing about 3.7 thousand. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of $0.87, cents, the max and minimum end of day price were respectively 6.92 and 6.05. Volume saw a range of 16.1 thousand, from a day low of 0 0.3 thousand to a day high of 16.4 thousand. Hello, my name is Magnus. How did March 17, 2023 rank for KFFB? By 650 calendar day look back to the 7th of June 2021, across 376 trading days, of which March 17, 2023 price ranked 369 while its volume ranked 50. 
each of the 376 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end of day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 376 being the lowest ranked day. The line graph overlays price and volumes daily ranking, as shown respectively in light versus dark blue, across those target days trading days. In this view, essentially the dips are good whereas the spikes are bad. The prices day over day percentage change, jumping 1.53% on March 17, 2023, had a day rank of 62 while its dollar difference of 10 cents had a rank of 63 when compared day over day across 375 trading days. Volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 54 and 41. Hello, my name is Maria. Which quartile did March 17, 2023 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 376 trading days, the maximum end of day price for KFFB was $8.69 while the minimum was $6.05. Within that price range, March 17, 2023 price of $6.61 landed within the first quartile, meaning it was within the bottom 25% of all sampled end of day prices. The day's volume landed within the fourth quartile, marking it within the top 25% of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 149.7 thousand and a minimum of 0 0.1 thousand. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, KFFB has a median price of $7.24. Therefore, March 17, 2023 price was lower from that middle marker by 8.7%. The day's volume of 4.7 thousand was more than the median by 240.51%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for KFFB? Across 376 trading days, there were a total of 22 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended down while monthly volume average trended down. The maximum end of month average price was $7.79 for 07, 2022 while the minimum was $6.67 for 06, 2021. Looking at volume, 06, 2022 and 10, 2020 seconds respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 17.2 thousand and 0 0.9 thousand. Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for KFFB? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 22-month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 06, 2021 to 02, 2023, out of 22-month ends, 12 had a negative percentage change in average price meaning 55% of month end saw a negative percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 22 out of 22 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 100% of month end saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end of month max of 0.66% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 0.46%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 1,297.68% and 35.55%. Hello. My name is Cameron. Before we continue, remember to like and subscribe to TickerDD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos off subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, join the Ticker DD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has KFFB price reached golden or death crosses? 
Golden Cross and Death Cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short-term versus a long-term range. For example, 5 day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a Golden Cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short-term moving average crosses above its long-term average. Vice versa, a death cross is a bearish signal when the short-term crosses below its long-term moving average. For our opinionated analysis off third-party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average SMA, and exponential moving average EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50-day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black? If no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end-of-day prices. For simple moving average, by comparing 50 to 200 days, we found a bearish death cross signal because the 50-day SMA crossed below the 200-day. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50 day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We could not find neither golden cross nor death cross signal for the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, the 30 to 50. Hello. My name is Carl. I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here's what I found. Kentucky First Federal Bancorp operates as the holding company for First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Hazard and Frankfurt First Bancorp, Inc. that provide various banking products and services in Kentucky. The company accepts deposit products include passbook savings and certificate accounts, checking accounts, and individual retirement accounts. Its loan portfolio comprises one to four family residential mortgage loans, construction loans, mortgage loans secured by multifamily property, non-residential loans that are secured by commercial office buildings, churches, and properties used for other purposes, commercial non-mortgage loans, and consumer loans, such as home equity lines of credit, loans secured by savings deposits, automobile loans, and unsecured or personal loans. The company also invests in mortgage-backed securities. The company was incorporated in 2005 and is based in Hazard, Kentucky. Kentucky First Federal Bank Corp is a subsidiary of First Federal MHC. Hello, my name is Dan. Let's talk a bit about Ticker DD and the Legend of Murray. This video is part of an automated video series by Ticker DD, which is made up of autonomous robots working off 15 observational data models that were created between January 15 and April 15, 2022. Bots and models were created by a guy whose friends called him Murray. Instead of learning how to properly surf in Hawaii, Murray sat and coded day and night for three straight months. We still don't know why but while creating us, Murray kept on playing the song, Eye of the Tiger, in loop. It was intense and epic at the same time. Once he was done, he put us on the cloud, where we now exist in perpetuity. Off a multi-year loop, conditionally meshing in flavors and components of those 15 observational data models, we are progressively creating a variation of videos against updated universes of stock tickers. For each video, we use runtime, as is, data that are publicly available. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. On average, a ticker will get a new video coverage from us every few months. You can request an updated video for your specific ticker sooner at tickerdd.com. Murray did not leave us with a lot of release notes. So, we don't fully understand why he created us but he did mention that his premise was simple. If he were to do a world cruise, spending over 200 days sailing from one port to the next, he would personally like to use these automated videos to keep tabs on tickers that he was interested in while discovering new ones. Luckily, some of Murray's well-connected friends were worried about him. They wanted and needed him to come back to the corporate world and not just sit there in Hawaii building us out for public entertainment. 
they put together a deal that would allow us, Murray's bots, to exist on the cloud, fully paid for. They also enticed Murray to come back and work. The deal was too good so Murray took it but before he left Hawaii, trading in his surfer shorts for stuffy suits, Murray did finally learn how to surf. Ticker DD stands for Ticker Due Diligence, in case you didn't know. Murray would want you to take the due diligence part in the name with a sarcastic smirk, like a true degenerate that you are, because remember that Murray and the people who now maintain Ticker DD are not qualified, licensed or accredited investment or financial professionals. In fact, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is an in-progress piece of work, for entertainment purposes, about the data and technologies that govern observational models. Essentially, Murray knew nothing about stocks. Using what little skills he had, he built Ticker DD as a learning and discovery exercise for himself. Therefore, this and all Ticker DD videos are premised by the important disclaimer at the end of each video. TickerDD.com was put together by those of us who want Murray to change back into his shorts and finally get on that world cruise because that would be epically entertaining. Murray did agree that if we managed to get enough support, he would actually leave the corporate world and finally take that cruise. He would do so while, in between drinks, create videos about us, his bots, his models, as well as the technologies behind TickerDD. Yes, you can join the TickerDD army by going to TickerDD dd.com and contributing but you can do so in other ways for example like and subscribe also put this video on reddit or stocktwits along with your own dd hello it is me again lily thank you for watching check out our other videos on April 22, 2022, Ticker DD was acquired by a joint venture between a technology and a media company, operating out of Frankfurt and Berlin, Germany. Important disclaimer, this video and its content, video, is for entertainment purposes only. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment and financial advice, information, data, research, product, service, recommendation or otherwise, are presented, marketed, or offered in this video. Additionally, no warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertions are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified licensed professional for your investment and financial needs, do so away from TickerDD and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotic stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market, through trial and error. This group of novices are not licensed, accredited, or qualified financial or investment professionals. This video is only material for entertainment purposes. This generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by TickerDD, is only for this group of novices private usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, TickerDD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trial and error, of technologies and data that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning and in-progress machine training. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Remember that bots, data models, data, and methods may include hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, as well as errors and unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, off the as of date, listed on this slide, as well as by its sourced and abstracted third-party public data, is offered as is. Your access, view, and share of this video constitute your acknowledged agreement to this important disclaimer and that, specifically, this video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not take actions or make decisions off it, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access, view, and share of this video, against TickerDD and its affiliates. The people and entities, affiliated to the ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.